There is podcast drama on the East Coast. Yes, yes. Yay. This is serious. This is serious. We've got to address it. Hot dog, did you see what the former flagrant two, now flagrant boys did this week? They got a brand new studio. Look at what Schultz did again. My God. Schultz just decided it's time for podcasts to start broadcasting out of Pat Robertson's TV studio. Doesn't this look like, like, doesn't this set, there's a skylight. Up. First of all, the most impressive thing about it, and I texted Schultz and told him, the thing that was mo that's most impressive about this new flagrant studio is the high ceiling. Like, you know, I, I, I hate that. I guess you can't really hear. I'll give you the, I mean, that's the ceiling, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm ducking down. It's literally, you should have seen Luke Gallows trying to survive in here. It was bad. Ceilings are low. There's vents that hit you around every corner. This studio is designed to literally be this box that you see. Like, you do not want to get beyond this square. What you see is what you get. There's That's no, it. Uh, That's there's no it. No curtain. No. You, I mean, you've seen. It looks like it looks like the hoarder intervention people have to come here. Everything that's outside <laughs> this square. This square is perfect. But like Schultz, is, there, it's all kinds of space, high ceilings. There's like a skylight in the roof that's like stained yep. glass. It really looks like a church. Yeah, somehow the biggest flex of his studio is, isn't even going to be in frame. I know, but that's the, time. that's the flex. That's how you that's do it. That's the flex. That's the flex. That's how That's how you do it. I mean, that's that's the way to do it, you know? I mean, you always hear it on, like, Rogan's show. Like, people go to Rogan's studio, and they're like, oh, it's so cool. You have, like, stars in the ceiling. I've never seen him in my life. I watch Rogan all the time. You can. There's no shot of the ceiling, and people always compliment his ceiling. It's incredible. Up here, I do. I do it old school. This ceiling's a horror show. It's terrible. There's wires taped to the roof. It's awful. I thought I mean, that's how it was done. I thought this was all like uh, in here, like guys like Schultz. That's why they're successful. A lot of sizzle, but a lot of steak. There's a lot of meat on the bone here in the Not Sam Studio. We're sizzle, baby. There is not an ounce of steak. It's all sizzle. You have a better studio than than Rogan's infamous Red Studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is better than the spaceship for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is this is this is way better than that one. Yeah, because it's it's the colors of life. You know, <laughs> that studio was not the colors of life. Yeah, it's the colors. Yeah, this is a much more comfortable studio than that one for sure. But it it literally looks like you know like uh, like the Pat Robertson like church TV shows. Mm -hmm. where they're sitting on the couch and they're uh, explaining that God hates homosexuals and that's why you need to send him money. You know, doesn't need a beautiful set. Yeah, like, doesn't it It look like, and I swear to God, when they announced this on Flagrant, I thought that, like, they had rented out a television gospel church TV show set and they were using it for a bit before they showed their new set. And they were, and then they sat down and it was like, no, 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 this is where we're doing the show from now on. Where do you even find a ceiling like that in, in New York City? You build the motherfucker. That's what's so sick. They built it. I'm sure. You got to. Nobody's got ceilings like that. I mean, it's no. probably, look, it's probably a fake sky. It's not a, a No, right, right. Right, yeah. there's just lamps above it. But still, it looks awesome. I will say, I do like the more traditional mics. I don't, I'm not a, I don't like the... I think the, yeah, the, the lav mics. I don't are... like lav mics. I don't like lav mics. I don't like that we use them when we do like stuff with WWE. I don't, I no. I like a handheld mic or a mic stand or something. I yes. like, yes. That. Yes. Something. It's a little thing. Exactly. Something you can really grip onto, right? Hot yeah. dog. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I like that. I don't like, I don't like lobs. I don't, but I don't like them for a lot of stuff. I don't think, I don't like how like, uh, when Barstool does it, they're like, yeah, we use lives, but it's cool because we let the wire show and everything. It's like, no, just get mics. Just get mics and we'll be good. But here's the controversy, Hot Dog. Even with the new church studio. Tonight Show. The Tonight Show studio. And I love, by the way, and you're going to see this, okay? I tweeted something saying we're going to all be catching up with Andrew Schultz again. Because we are. Like, you're going to start seeing a lot of podcasts start coming out and just starting to try to turn their studios into television studios, not just upgraded podcast studios, but straight up TV studios. 
You know, the this lobs is, are going to be the first thing to come in. A hundred percent. Everybody's going to start using lobs and it's going to suck. It's going to suck. Lobs suck. But people are absolutely going to start using lobs. I mean, I'm the only one left using headphones. Nobody uses <laughs> stupid over-ear headphones anymore. But I think that I think that everybody's going to start, yeah, going like, okay, this is the model. This is what we're all following. It's like when uh, when Rogan came out, and then everybody started using like cheap fake wood paneling behind them because they thought it would like look just like you know how many podcasts have bad wood paneling that they bought from Home Depot. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. They all look the and same. Everyone. And everyone needed to start talking about the craft. Yes, exactly. That's what it symbolizes. But here's the controversy. This is big controversy, okay? I drifted into the... And they've had to address this on their show. And they made a joke out of it. But I don't know if it's a joke, okay? You know what the problem here is? There's some disrespect going on. Big disrespect. Oh, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Big, oh, yeah. big, big <laughs> disrespect to a king, okay? Somebody who maybe started as a prince, but I believe is a king. All right? Big disrespect to Akash. <laughs> I know that you're seeing what I'm seeing, hot dog. Big it's, disrespect to Akash. It is the first thing that you notice. Big is... disrespect. It's 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 the boys. It's Schultz and the boys. I love Schultz. Okay? Love that guy. However, he is disrespecting king akash right now yeah big disrespect here okay this is like you know i mean like hot dog let's be honest if i had like a whole setup here and i was over here and like you were you were in studio instead of on the big screen like mm -hmm. like like okay if i had another guest on a screen yeah and I just did a split screen back here and you guys both had to share the screen instead of bringing in a, you would want me to bring in a smaller screen so that you could keep your screen. <laughs> if I just did like a split screen between three of you all of a sudden, you'd be like, how did I lose? How did I lose the Samtron? How did I lose the not Samtron? Like, what the fuck is this? That's my spot. That's disrespect. You would be, you would feel disrespected. You would feel slighted. Yes. This would be like if uh, during the contract negotiations, somehow you guys agreed, okay, so Jim is going to have his own area, and then Sam, you'll be sitting with, yeah. with Travis and Troy. Yeah, is that you, cool for you, Sam? You and Mike Montone and Travis and Troy <laughs> will sit in this area. We'll line up mics for all of you, and then Jim will sit here. It wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be bad. It would be bad. I do believe Akash is being slighted, and I, lo I love that they can't do a podcast anymore. Because both episodes this week, the comments are flooded by people <laughs> who feel they're going to make those boys change the set. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm on board with it. Okay? Akash. You got to listen. Ak and I get it. And Akash knows. Okay? This is my theory. Akash knows. Akash knows, you know what? I don't need to upset the apple cart here. I don't need to, I don't need to, to, to ruffle any feathers. Because my people are going to do it for me, right? Like, <laughs> you know, like, oh, whatever you want. Yeah, I'm good sitting on the thing. I just got, you know, millions of people watching my Apu comedy special. But sure, no, couch is fine for me. No problem, because he knows. Fine with me. Let's see what the people think. He knows the people, the people are going to be on Akasha's side. And I think that that's what we're seeing. I mean, literally the first day, I wasn't even reading the comments like that, but like when I, when I first saw that whole setup, I literally took a screenshot and I sent it to my roommate and I was like, yeah, Akash got a demotion. Akash got the big demotion. <laughs> you said that to your roommates? Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's the first thing you notice. You think, you think Akash got demoted? It's, it's, it's a flagrant, uh, disrespectful. <laughs> because in the old flagrancy and look, I mean, I know it's like, you're making a big deal out of nothing, but if you want to be one of the top podcasts yeah. in the game, people are going to be nitpicking. That's what we do. That's what yeah. we do now, okay? It's about it, optics. 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 This is problematic, okay? Because in the old studio, if I'm not mistaken, Hot Dog, you can correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. it was a chair for the for King Andrew Schultz. Mm -hmm. It was a chair for Akash. These were our kings. Yep. And then there was sometimes a third chair for a guest. And then there was a couch, there was like an area on the side over here 
for the other fellas. They had an area. And so when you replace the King Akash chair with a couch and you bring the fellas from the area, and that's no disrespect to the fellas, by the way. They just have other responsibilities. They're great. They're great. Everybody's great. But you bring the fellas from the area and extend the Akash chair, then what you've done is you have not necessarily upgraded the fellas. You've instead lumped it all into one thing. The King Akash chair and the fellas area now becomes the you're not Andrew Schultz couch. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes the help couch. I, I just I just love the poor Schultz is over here dropping I mean big six figures, if not more, on this ridiculously opulent studio. He spent so much money on a studio that he's going to change podcasting as we know it. And he probably thought to himself, yo, when people see this, they're going to be like, you motherfucker, you did it again. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. And instead, they're like, yo, why'd you have to do a kosh like that? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Also, like, they're all, they're like, Squished in kind of on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. It's like, that's like, that's like when you get to a party and you're like, you were, you were chilling. And then the third guy shows up and he's like, yo, make some room, make some room. And you're like, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I can't even put my feet up now. Like you're going to be touching each other by mistake. Like you can see here, right? You can see they're very, they're dangerously close to rubbing legs. And that's not how you, you don't want to get creative. Look at me. Look how I'm moving, right? Look, how I'm getting out there. I'm touching, I'm feeling, I'm reaching. I don't want to be rubbing legs with somebody else. That's a couch made for two guys. It's basically a love seat. Let's be honest. <laughs> Come on, Akash, just squeeze in there. Squeeze, squeeze in, in there, there Akash, you're slight of frame. Don't worry, you get the corner pocket, bro. You get the corner. You don't have to sit in the middle, buddy. You get the corner pocket. And also, like, a, a, a couch is smaller compared to the other two. So he's oh, taking yeah. up less space. And it's almost like a, a like a dominance thing, right? Like, whoever takes the wow. most space is most important now. Here's the problem, right? Here's the problem with this whole thing, okay? So a couch is smaller. But also, I mean, this is basic videography, okay? Look how the couch is angled. This side of the couch is closer to the camera than this side of the couch. The area mm -hmm. that Akash is sitting on the couch is significantly further away than this side of the couch, which means that objects on the far end of the couch are going to appear even smaller. When you're closer to the camera, you appear larger. When you're farther away, you appear smaller. So Akash is somewhere like, tucked I mean, the light's barely hitting him, bro. <laughs> He's not even getting that skylight. He might as well be next to the plants. He might as well be next to the plants. <laughs> I mean, Mark looks like the big shot here. Is this it, is this is Mark's couch. That's Mark's couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark's the guy on the couch, and he lets these two sit with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like a couch has to like you know turn awkwardly if he wants. Oh, to look at good point. Good point. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is an awkward turn. Yeah, he's like, nobody sits like that, you know? And plus, it's like, he's got to turn awkwardly to talk to those two, but now he's not looking at Schultz anymore. Like, yeah. and you can see the line here. The line goes straight between Mark and Schultz, right? Yeah, like Alex, Alex could naturally look at everyone. Because Alex is in that prime seat closest to the camera. Exactly. That's Alex Media, right? Uh-huh, yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's good. He got the upgrade. He's like, I went from the area to the Mark couch, but closest to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like if all of a sudden, I mean, Sam, you're making, you know, you're making the big bucks. It's serious, right? B everywhere. Everywhere. Big money. It's serious. Big money. WWE. Big money. Big here. money, I mean, Sam. Yeah. But big money. All, all over of a place. sudden, they're like uh, this, uh, the bosses, the people in charge, whoever, whoever it may be goes like, good news, Sam. Uh you're, you're, you're the, the staff, the salary you got right now is going to remain the same, but I am going to bump the staff salary up to yours. Yeah. Now everyone's going to be happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm not happy, dude. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not happy. You just diminished the value. You just, you just changed 
what that money is worth now. That's a promotion for them. Nothing's changing with you, Sam. Well, yeah, that, see, that's the problem, because now you're saying that I'm worth a Travis. <laughs> like, you're like, yes, you're saying Travis is worth a Sam. That's very good for Travis. But at the same time, that means that a Sam is worth a Travis, and that can't sit right with a Sam. And it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> hey, we're bringing Hot Dog in. We're going to pay him what we pay you. I'd be like, well, you better be paying Woo! me three times as much then. Because <laughs> Hot Dog is lucky. Lucky. If he's a third of a Sam. <laughs> yeah. I mean, something, something, I feel like something happened uh, that sounds kind of, kind of close to that with me. You know, you might be aware. No, I don't. Uh, maybe someone comes in, someone makes D bag. So, uh, uh, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. I didn't say any names. Yeah. But. It, 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 look, it fucks your head up. It changes value. Yeah. Man, do you think after spending all this money on that studio, they're really going to make, like, Schultz is really going to have to bring in a, a chair. They're going to have to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if, if it could happen to Rogan, it could happen to Schultz. Oh. Rogan, if Rogan didn't get shitted on for that red studio, That's he would have just kept it. He literally had to rebuild his L.A. studio in Texas. Yeah. Fuck it. Would you build the same fucking one? Who gave fuck? <laughs> build the same studio. Then enough. It's enough. 